this situation is a bit of a strange one because this chap here decided to park his £130,000 Audi R8 across two parking spaces, as in straddling the line and using up both of the spaces so that nobody else could use either space. Now he acknowledged that he's likely to get a ticket for parking in such a way, but said that he would prefer to get a ticket than to get the car scratched. However, I think there is a flaw in the logic here, because let me know what you think in the comments, because with all the coverage I've seen recently of people keying cars for whatever reason, jealousy and resentment perhaps, and the other piece of footage when the lady was kicking the car, again for whatever reason, I suspect that if people think along those lines and they come across a car that is straddled across two spaces, they are more likely to be frustrated and more likely to inflict deliberate damage upon that vehicle. Granted they'll be committing a criminal offence of criminal damage by doing so, but maybe they don't care about the criminal offence. Because of course if everybody cared about criminal offences, nobody would be committing criminal offences. So to my mind, those people that are minded to key or kick a car are going to be more likely to key and kick a car if it's straddled across two spaces and preventing them from being able to park. As I said, that might just be the way that I'm thinking about this, being the lawyer and slightly cynical because I do see cases like this quite a lot, but let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think people are more likely to kick and key the car if it's parked and straddled across two spaces just like this. And I think you realise and that it goes without saying that my guidance to you is to not park like this for the reasons that I've said. I actually do think it is much more likely to get scratched and kicked and whatever if it's parked across two spaces like this, which is likely to annoy the wrong kind of people. As I say, let me know what you think in the comments. I'd be quite interested to see those comments. Remember to like the video and subscribe and I'll see you next time.